converging wishes call forth the miraculous. Resultant miracles bring forth reconciliation. And the reconcilers, they have advanced beyond trial, tribulation, obstacles innumerable, where they spread hope near and far. Their work lives within the embrace of the Great Mother, whose world will be bestowed a bountiful future. But as their roles conclude upon the stage of steel and verdure, a new story begins to forge roots. And roots are uncertain to take. One must survive whirling sandstorms and ceaseless plumes of smoke before tales can be told upon this stage. Reveil. Tis a plane of combat, of gunfire and magic, made upon happenstance when a divinity brought life unto the stone of beginnings. The inheritors of this great work, the Titans Three, stand atop civilization. Titan of Force, Not Not. Titan of Prosperity, I Schillendrig. Titan of Order, Vincent. The balance between the triptych is tenuous, teetering. Reveil is a powder keg, awaiting the inevitable spark of destruction. Though many holdeth fire, there are but few aspirants who could ignite the world. Perchance it be those who live to lift their names. Grand ambitions cross paths with discord, cantering through the wasteland. Mayhap it be those who live for justice. Honest eyes stare affixed to tomorrow, mirroring the soul of a man ready to spring into action for others. Perhaps it be those who live in the mist of darkness. The godlessness of the era is proof enough of hardship, though dark dwellers waver not. They simply obey what must be done. May chance it be those who live in the fog of twilight. Grasp they at the past, the future, and all times between. Warped, wandering wretches that they are. And yet, a guest alights from a dimension unknown. Savior of the world, or herald of its combustion, the omens will write themselves in due course. O oh, willful aspirants, fate demands much of you. Far flung are your lives to the whims of destiny. But you must decide, how will your tale be told? Stop in the name of the law! Oh, oh, oh boy! Or else! Sorry, kid. I'm on official icy business. I ain't got time to poke around with no clod hopping deputy. Oh, have mercy! Why do they always gotta run? Come on, miser! Put your thinking boots on! How do I round up this goon? <laughs> Looking a little slow there, Haas. I've seen heifers haul faster tail. Ignore that. You can do this. Just look for a way to cut them off or... Any other lawman worth his salt would have shot me by now. But I guess that's why they call you Limp Holster Miser. He's testing you. The sheriff will have your badge if you don't stay professional. I mean, the gals at the saloon call you that, too! Yeah, 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 boo-boo, lip holster. Oh! I'll shove my boots so far up your butt! Oh! You'll have spurs for braces! Ow! Oh! <sighs> there! 
just to serve with a smile. Bet I've done the sheriff proud. Are you proud of yourself, miser? I didn't mean to piddle, sir. You saw the culprit dine and dash and followed his footprints. That much is commendable. But how did you lose track of him so soon afterward? Um, well, uh, there was a fella who was carrying a heavy package, so... So you ignored an outlaw on the run to give him a hand? R refresh my memory. What else had you distracted? The saloon's roof was plumb falling apart. Took a few croaks to re-shingle, you know? And there was this old woman who needed help with her groceries? Boy, she was a trembling. And in spite of everything, you still managed to track down the criminal outside the city limits. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe this was a miraculous apprehension after all. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a compliment, Miser. Pardon me, Sheriff. You understand what you got to do now, don't you? Of course, sir. Well, enlighten me then. Well, for starters, I'll help the people of Revale day in and night out, and... I know, Miser. Sir? Incident reports. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, this boy will be the death of me. Under the sheriff's skin again? Ah, oh, that's the third time this week, Limp Holster Miser. <sighs> Silence. In any case, I guess you did well enough. Keep your hat on straight next time. Yes, Sheriff. Thank you, sir. All right, all right. No, go on and get now. Dang, gummit. Vincent could stare down a full-grown copperhead if he wanted to. Hey, miser. Heard you got into it again. Done worse before, and I'll do worse later, I reckon. <laughs> well, knowing you, bet you managed a lot better than most. You still got the varmint in the end, right? Sure did. But, uh, maybe I shouldn't have made a fuss over a bunch of ant-sized problems on the way. Ah, don't sweat it. Not many folks could have pulled off what you did. Without a gun, no less. After you're done with the reports, you want to grab a drink? I know a place that serves a real mean iced guilt. Spurred on? Oh, sounds great. I'll be finished in two blinks. Two blinks? Seems like you might want to put a, a tad more effort into my reports, deputy. I meant 2,000 blinks, sir. I'll get to the reports right away. And I'll use my prettiest handwriting. Hop to it. I'll be waiting outside. Here goes. My actions today, while inefficient, were ultimately about the good of the city. Whew. Thinking about all those happy smiles, I might tear up. There we go. All done. Ooh, my wrists are howling. Took you long enough. Vincent clear you? <laughs> yep. Said I was a genius for finishing every report quick as paint drying. Yeah, I don't think he was none too impressed. Howdy, miser. <laughs> Your holster's looking limp as usual. Busy day at the station? Daggone it, y'all know I hate that name. And I'm always busy at the station, thank you very much. Yoo-hoo, miser. I can't help but notice a distinct lack of a girlfriend on your arm. Maybe I could introduce you to my grandma? Yeah, well, she's pushing 300. Stop pulling my leg. Look, son, you're not getting any younger, so you best start walking belt buckle first, unless you want to die alone. <laughs> Miser probably don't even polish his buckle. Hmm, yeah, probably not. I can hear you all, you know, and I keep my buckles twinkling like the stars at night. Holy crap! Sorry, y'all. I gotta see what that holler was about. Oh, wait, Miser! It came from Spurred On. What's happened? Oh, 
my. Not not. Well, hello, deputy. Don't you look positively frantic? Was that your doing? Freyna, I have no earthly ideas to what you're insinuating. That scream from before! Who have you hurt? Bless your thick-headed heart. I said, who? Sweetie Pie, I understood your question. What I don't understand, however, is why you feel the need to ask it. If I said, guilty as charged, officer, what would you do? What could you do? Well, I won't stand by for no law-breaking. Ah, so, nothing, I take it. Now you just wait a minute. Deputy, the world's unfair. You've got to learn to fear it. I know more than you give me credit for, but I've got a job to do here. Uh huh. Among all the pups in Sheriff Vincent's litter, you might be the most interesting I've ever met. I'm sure he favors you, boy. Though, should we ever meet again, you'd better learn not to bark in front of me. Ta-ta now, hun. Wait a minute! Uh, uh, back down, Miser. <sighs> you know what you've done? That was not not the cursed queen. She's one of the three times that control her veil. Even among them, she'd be most likely to fling you clear across the desert. Of course I know her, but is her title reason enough for her to break the law? Ab absolutely. This ain't something you can just write away with a report. But... No, 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 no buts. Grown folk know better than to backtalk a damn titan. But it don't feel right to just sit there and do nothing. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm gonna go patrol some, see if anybody else got hurt. Ah, uh, I best come with you. Make sure you don't dive headfirst into any more trouble. Fine, sorry about that. My leapers leapt before my lookers looked. Ah, uh, no worries. I was more scared for you than anything. Now come on, and don't go wandering off on some good Samaritan mission. Oh boy. I done did it now, huh? Hey, you hear me? Let's move it. Hold your horses, I'm coming! Yep, no crime this side of town either. Huh, then I guess hell ought to be gearing up for its first winter. Sorry about this. I bet you'd rather be having a drink at the saloon. Didn't mean to rope you into extra patrolling. Ah, it's fine. If it were anybody else, we'd have a problem. But you're a good kid. The rest of us, though, we done gave up on life. Reveals beat the good right out of us. Not many courteous folks like yourself left. Nah, I'm a little devil. Maybe we're lucky there's only one of me. You want to get out of here alive, you better hand it all over. Yeah! Appreciate it. We'll count this toward your repayment. Somebody, help! A theft! Sounds like it. Miser, you rush on. I'll round the corner so he can't get away. On it, Chief. Whoa, you okay? Deputy Miser, I was just walking by minding my own business when... when... You ain't done nothing wrong. Wait here, I'll get your stuff back. <sighs> Damn it, where'd that snake rattle off to? Huh, well if it isn't Mr. Limp Holster in the flesh. You playing cops and robbers today? Playing? This is my job! And there's been a theft! You seen anybody suspicious around? 
Now, we both know a squeaky mouse gets eaten pretty quick in these parts. Why would I risk telling you? What? I played matchmaker for you and that gussied up fella, didn't I? I even fixed vittles for the private picnic you wanted. Oh, bring that up, why don't you? Fine. He went that away. Thanks. We'll call it even for now. Even? Deputy, you're always gonna owe me one. But there's been talk of more wretches about, so you just stay alive to see your debts repaid, okay? You got it. Thanks again. Got him. Halt! In the name of the law! <laughs> As if. Oh no, we are not doing this again. Pull up your britches, miser. Time to get into high gear. Uh... Yeah! Ooh. Oh! Uh. Damn you! You come any closer, I'll shoot. Hey now, friend. There's no reason to make this harder than it has to be. I need this money, and you're not gonna take it from me. Listen to yourself. It don't belong to you neither. Well, don't you live in a magic wonderland. Die. Ah! That was too close for comfort. Guess you want to do this the hard way. I may not be the most muscular officer in the West, but I've got enough punch to spare a haymaker for you. Yeah! Ooh! <sighs> you weren't half bad. You were all bad. <sighs> Where the hell did you go? Near about swallowed my heart there. You slippery son of a gun. I ain't got time for this. Uh, hold on! Where can I find the sheriff's office? Uh, damn it, he's still on my hide! Huh? You, come here! <laughs> you rotten thug! You better unhand the girl, or do you want the law to come down harder on you? Shut it! I gotta repay Icy, or, or he'll skin me alive! I see. The Titan? What's he got to do with this? Don't take another step. I'll hurt her. I swear to the gods. Um. He's got my back against the wall, don't he? Excuse me. No one's around, so there's nobody to get hurt. Just focus. Accelerate. Could you please let go already? Uh, I'm sorry. I tried to hold back. Holy ho cakes! You see him go flying just now? Wait, wasn't he gripping your neck? He was, but he couldn't hang on when I used the wind against him. Wind against who did what now? You sure do talk funny. But at least you're safe and sound. Oh, and thanks for helping me apprehend this no-good piece of scum. You're going to apprehend him? Is he bad? Mouser! Finally caught up to me! Did, did you catch him? Thanks to this young miss here. Only had to chase him partway through town. Whew, well, that's better than through the whole dang city, I reckon. We gotta work on your technique. Anyhow, job well done, Deputy. I guess you're gonna bring him down to the station. I think I've had enough reports for the week. You wanna book this one? Cheese and crackers, kid. You gotta put on your big boy boots at some point. On my delicate feet? Never. Have fun at the station. Fine, fine. I'll fill Vincent in on the particulars. 
Catch you later, miser. Whew, that was a close one. Better go back and make sure that varmint ain't hurt nobody else. Um, can I ask you something? Oh, sorry. Fire away. I'm looking for someone called the Sheriff. Do you know where I can find them? Uh, the Sheriff? Oh, uh, miss, just how far out of Reveil do you live? Well, I'm from a whole different world. <laughs> A whole nother world? Woohoo! First time I ever heard that! Oh, how do I explain? Eh, don't worry about it. Sounds like it's beyond my pay grade anyway. Name's Miser. Miser the Deputy. Howdy do? Nice to meet you. I'm Arisa. Let me guess. You've never been to this city before, so you're looking for someone to give you the lay of the land? Yes, exactly. Well, you're in luck. I'm the best dang tour guide in this whole dust bowl. Oh, hooray. I sure am glad I ran into you. Well, that makes two of us, miss. Now, come on. We've got exploring to do. So, Arisa, how much do you already know about Reveil? Um, not a lot, to be honest. I see. Well, I reckon we should start with the basics. Sure, that would be great. Reveil's a big city split into two townships, Dust Home and the Golden Hills. You could think of them as the poor man's district versus the rich man's district, if that clears things up. I personally don't like those terms, though. Oh, and both of them have their own top dog calling the shots. Dogs can shoot in this world? Uh, no. I mean, we have people who are like, um, kings. The poor folk are ruled over by Not Not, who controls force. And the rich folk are ruled over by Shilindri, who controls prosperity. Oh, neighboring kingdoms. Do the two kings fight? In a way, but there's no outward conflict. There's another king who keeps him in check. His name's Vincent. He controls order. The balance of Reveil tends to teeter twixt the three. Fun fact, they're called the Titans, but they ain't known for being hospitable folks, so I'd try to steer clear if I were you. Okay, I'll be careful. Whoa, that's a big tower! <laughs> Catch the clock on top? It's been around since plum near forever. People use it as a meeting place. This one time, my ex-girlfriend and I... <clears throat> Couldn't help over here in Miser, but did you just say girlfriend? Far as I recall, you've never even had a date, much less going steady with somebody. Them's fighting words you hear. I've been on dates with plenty of women. Shopping trips with your mama don't count, sweetie. Poor little miser, bless your heart. Yeah, I'm trying to make a good impression here. <laughs> Look, now she's laughing at me. I could have been patrolling the streets instead of suffering such disgrace. Sorry, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just thinking about how nice you are. He's got a good heart. But the rest of them? Yikes. Best not to get too attached, dear. Bleeding heart like him wouldn't be able to give you the time you deserve. But you cut it out already. Go on, get. All right, but come by later. Baked too much pie the other day. Need somebody to take the leftovers. Stop by my place too when you got time. My kid never shuts up about you. That, and, uh, Miser, you heard about the racket I Schillendrig's been stirring up. Afraid I haven't. What's the word? He's starting to put his debtors through the ringer. Rumors are getting pretty grim for those who can't pay. You be careful out there, here. Will do, Hoss. Same goes for you. And if you hear anything else, you come straight to me now. 
Ah, this town was already headed for hell in a handbasket, but dang! Everyone really trusts you, huh, Miser? What? Oh, yeah. You think so? Yep. They're all very friendly with you. Oh, right. I think someone lost this. Can I give it to you? Sure, let's see. Uh, this is a bullet. Is that what it's called? A girl with red hair dropped it after telling me to ask the law for help. And she was right to do that. I'll take it off your hands. Thanks. Now, what should I show you next? Back streets are pretty rough, so... How about the station? Uh, no! The church would be much better! I could introduce you to Selena! Selena? Uh, she's been my best friend since we were kids. You'll love her! Okay, I can't wait to meet her. Great! Follow me! Hey, Selena! Look what the cat dragged in. If this is about money, you're not gonna get another coin out of me. No, it's not that. We got a visitor from outside Reveal. I brought her to say hi. Uh, hi there. Have mercy. What's wrong? Your stomach hurting? Of all the stupid... Come over here a second. Uh, don't pull so hard! What gives? I told you I would get you your money back. Of course you will. But that's not what this is about. Then what is it? Oh, Sparks didn't fly with that fella I introduced you to? Ow! It's her, Dingus. You don't think she ain't off kilter or whatever? I don't. Maybe. Look at her outfit. The way she carries herself. Wow, this place is huge. And beautiful. Never seen a gal dressed like that in all my days. And do you see what she's carrying? Um, a bow? Exactly. Who carries a bow? Did you bother to ask her why? <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. <sighs> Well, I reckon your mind's got more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Now listen, I've never been outside Reveal, but I know there ain't many folk who still use basic contraptions. Oh, I see what you're saying. We're having some kind of shared fever dream, ain't we? Don't be an idiot. I just want you to recognize how peculiar she is. Fair enough, but I think she's a good person. You'd probably think I Schillendrig was a saint, assuming you ever met him. In any case... Hey! Who's this weird lady? I like your pretty cape. Can I touch it? Ah, uh, um, hi kids. I'm, uh... Well, you shouldn't automatically distrust everybody you meet. Give them time to mess up at least. I swear you're thick as rocks. This is Reveal. A healthy dose of distrust keeps you alive. You were different when we were kids, you know that? Feel free to shut up. Wow! Do that again, lady! How did you make the air go all whoosh? Do you own the wind? <laughs> Something like that? Watch close. Oh. Hey, quiet down in there! We're trying to have a serious talk! Sorry! <sighs> when did we get to be like an old married couple? <sighs> Let's drop this. Almost time for lunch anyhow. Oh boy! Care if Arisa and I join you? Do whatever you want. Sorry for the wait. We had a few things to catch up on. Not at all. I should apologize for getting these children too excited. Nah, they were born riled up. These two could power a whole train yard if we could harness their energy. 
<laughs> sure good. <laughs> Train yard? Lunch is ready. Come and get it while it's hot. Yay! All right, Arisa. Rub time. Are you sure it's fine? Of course. Selena's a great cook. You're gonna love her food. <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Miser. I'm stuffed. Me too. So what did you think? It was really good. Right? She's the best cook in all of Revale. Talk me up, why don't you? You're just used to the flavor. Hush up. Modesty don't suit you. Everything suits me. You watch that lip. Ouch! <laughs> You two are good friends, huh? You could say that. We've known each other forever. Never been able to get rid of him. You love me. Admit it. Aww. You make me miss my friends. I'm actually searching for them now. Maybe we've seen them. What are their names? Erica, Isabel, Rowan, or Urias, Eris, Yuan, and Luna, too. Do any of those sound familiar? Afraid not. Selena, you know any of them? Sorry, can't say I do. I thought so. That would have been too good to be true. Oh man, all alone in a world like Ravel? That must not feel great. Have no fear! You've got this city's best deputy on your case now! We'll find those friends. Ow! I know how you love to fix every crack in the road. But you gotta eventually make it across the street to get anything accomplished, Miser. But she's in trouble! It's okay. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be fine on my own. Sorry, Arisa. Wish we could hail, but... Miser! I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter? It's the outlaws you back from this morning and afternoon. They coughed up some pretty dirty news that you ought to hear. Need you back at the station. Uh, you got it. Sorry, y'all. Duty calls. Wait, what do you want me to do with... You'll figure it out. Later now. <sighs> um, could I have seconds? It's eerie how much you remind me of Miser. You know that? Deputy Miser reporting in. Good work. I heard you caught this latest one without much incident. To be honest, Sheriff, I had help. There was this little lady named Arisa who took down the varmint like whoosh, bang, crash. You know, you should learn to take praise from your superiors, deputy. Preferably without sound effects. <laughs> so what's this about the outlaws? They got connections to Icy. Poor fools borrowed money from them. Nothing more dangerous in this world than a deal with the devil. You think they knew what they signed up for? Oh, now, they found out soon enough. Sure as the white in my hair. That's why the pair went on their separate little pilfering benches. What do you make of it? Some kind of pattern? Well, seems to me like Icy wants to increase his nest egg. And real quick like at that. Jacked interest up to a rate you wouldn't believe. Really? Makes you wonder, don't it? Sure does. But I can't see a point to it. For a man in his position, dead as a geese that lay golden eggs, start strangling them, and you'll soon risk your supply. 
Well, in any case, rumors I've heard on the street corroborate Ice's actions. Just wish we had an explanation for his motives. Agreed. Best investigate. As a Titan, he won't make that easy on us. And considering our position in this city, wouldn't be proper to throw our full weight around anyway. We need somebody with enough pluck to take on Mr. Moneybags by him or herself. With all due respect, Sheriff, I'm your man. I know you don't have much faith in me, but I promise. I trust you plenty. If any of the deputies could take on a Titan and come out on top, it'd be you. But this'll be different than chasing petty crooks down the street. There'll come a time when you have to aim your gun and open fire. Understand? Yeah. Does that still scare you? Well... You'll find control over yourself. So promise me, when the time comes, you'll also find the strength to pull that trigger. Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Do me proud. Now then, Miser. Let's make your orders official. Investigate Icy's henchmen. Keep track of where they go and what they do with all ill-gotten gains. You'll operate in the shadows without any support. Is that clear? Sir. Yes, sir. Be vigilant. Don't do anything stupid. And by the gods, keep that heart from bleeding too much. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. <laughs> Most folks would pee themselves before anybody even finishes saying the word Titan. But you still up and volunteer. Mm-hmm. No braver man in all reveal. Got a good head on his shoulders, too. Gotta wonder if he recognizes his own potential. But, Sheriff, you think you'll really be able to draw his gun? Without hesitation. Oh, I know I'm a fool for worrying, but it's hard to stop. It'll turn out just fine. He'll overcome his demons. It's his future I'm worried about. justice grab my heart? Could have been when I used to pretend to be a lawman. Or maybe it was during a chat with the abbess about the wicked ways of the world. You know what? I bet it was that time I saw Selena crying all lonesome like. Seeing the tears stream down her cheeks broke my heart. I had to make Reveal better. I had to do some good for the people I loved. Yep, from that point on, I knew I'd be a bona fide deputy. Cheer up, Selena. I'll take care of you. Come hell or high water. Really? Yes, I'm, I'm gonna be a lawman and protect darn near everybody. All right, you better hear. Shoo, could you imagine if she actually remembers that? I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Anyway, the rest of my road to deputyhood weren't none too interesting. After I came of age, I applied at the sheriff's office, passing the trial with, uh, let's say, sinking colors. Oh, but I was a great shot. Everyone told me I was a lucky dog, that my dreams had come true, even if Reveal is known more for granting nightmares. Ah, I really did feel blessed in those days. Good afternoon, Sheriff. My name's Miser, and I'll be joining the force from today. Ah, the new recruit. Heard you shot nothing but bullseyes during your trial, son. Yes, sir. On account of the magic I used to learn. I'm nothing special, though. Nothing special, huh? No, sir. Deputy Miser, you shot ten bullseyes simultaneously. Nothing special indeed. Huh? It's pure genius. Not many have magical chops like that. Huh? I thought you were gonna clean my goose. 
The sheriff was referring to two of my tricks, acceleration and ignition. Turns out he knew more about my spellcastery than I did. Ignition, add some extra spice to your shots, augmenting your bullets with arcane heat. Good for blowing the tarnation out of whatever you're aiming at. But acceleration, now that's the real deal. Used on a gun, it'll increase the velocity of your bullets. But on a body, well, you become like wind itself. That's how you manage to aim, fire, and reload ten times in the same instant with perfect accuracy to boot. I'm sure he said some other bologna, but who remembers everything their boss ever told him? Not me. <laughs> the next couple of months of policing went about how you'd expect. Catching bandits. Helping people find their way. Making a ruckus with my fellow officers. I saw the good, the bad, and the ugly of this city. Justice served with a smile. Another blissful day in Reveil. I love this daggone world. Still do. But it weren't long before I learned I was maybe too big for my britches. The lesson here, folks? Just because you love something with all your might, that don't guarantee it'll love you back. Even when you need it to. You! Let her go! Like I would. You'll take me in if I don't have a little insurance policy. You're darn tootin', but you'll get a fair trial and a clean sale. You've got my word. <laughs> Come on now, be reasonable. <sighs> the hostage struggled and broke free, thinking she could get away. I wish she had. Oh no you don't. He started to sprint after, eyes squinted against the blinding sunlight. His breath came out in blasts, like those of an angry bull. Was his hostage in the wrong? Maybe she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But she was a kind woman, had two kids, and was just doing her best to raise them. How about the outlaw, then? On one hand, yes, but it's a complicated situation. Who knows what could have happened had I not made him desperate? Only one at fault here was me. I had spectacular talents, and that made me cocky, excitable, dangerous. Yeah. Accelerate. The wind was my shepherd, and I had his blade locked in my sight before he even knew I'd drawn my gun. Uh. <sighs> or so I thought. No. She was still running when the crack of my bullet blasted through the air. Startled, she jumped, straight into my line of fire. Could I have avoided her chest somehow? I didn't do nothing! Nothing! Curse her luck, right? Nah, that's not how I see it. I was the element that caused this woman's death. Not the silent push of some secret hand. It was my bullet that went through her heart. You can love this world, but it won't love you back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Yes, you do. You shot her dead. There now, son. Don't suffer your heart anymore. I heard the details, and we got the footpad in the end. Yes, sir. Buck up now, here. Yeah? You did the best you could. Yes, sir. Wanna go shoot some targets? Take your mind off it? <laughs> Not sure if my mind will ever come off it. Which has me thinking, Sheriff. Maybe I'm not cut out for law work no more. Every time I reach for my gun, I just start quaking. Like one of them fainting sheep. At this rate, I just ruin the reputation of the law. I'll leave my gun and badge on my desk and... Ah, uh, hush now, miser. You're one of us. We don't abandon all.
Not this department, not the citizens you love so much, not this whole damn city. Rivelle needs you, deputy, come hell or high water. Mm. Bless the folk around me. I had no shortage of drinking buddies or shoulders to cry on. The department gave me the strength to keep on keeping on. The citizens, too. They'd stop and give me a hug whenever I was on patrol. They'd tell me things like, Love your little heart. It weren't your fault. As for the dead woman's children... I'll look after him. Not like you could, anyway. Thank the skies above for childhood friends. I may have had magic coming out of my ears. They didn't make one iota of difference. There was truly nothing special about me. Nothing at all. What I did have, and I had it in abundance, was appreciation for the fine folk of Reveil. Shame that what I also had, and in abundance no less, was an equal amount of guilt. Now, Selena don't keep much stock in a higher power, but these days, I'm afraid I have to believe even more for the both of us. Because if there's nobody out there who can absolve me of my actions, that means they'll burden me forevermore. Let's see, how do I get this mission a rolling? Ah, I'll give Spurt on a gander. That's where the ugliest sons of guns drink. Howdy do, barkeep. How's business? Huh, not a patron in sight. Sorry, miser. Saloon's closed for now. Don't tell me. It came from Spurred On! What's happened? Oh my. Not not! Well, hello, deputy. Don't you look positively frantic? Still reeling from Not Not's little visit? <sighs> you could say that. She coughed a pair of my regulars. Since then, no one's come by. Save for two big old pains in my ass. You don't deserve this. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to help. Not your fault. You can pray for the wind to stop, but that won't keep the sandstorms from coming. Well, what can I do you for? Want a drink? Wish I could indulge, but afraid I'm here on different business. You heard the rumors about I Schillendrig? How much stricter he's been being with his debtors? Yep, I've heard tell. About as bad as you'd expect. Now you keep this between us, but rumor has it, Ice has gotten into an expensive hobby. What kind of titan has time for a hobby? All I know is, he's been filling his coffers with ingots like a banker gone berserk. You ask me, something real fishy's going on. I hear ya. You got any other tidbits for me? Fresh out for Icy himself, but Bunny and Baron, on the other hand. You heard of them? That new pair of bandits? Rumor has it they go around without faces. Yep. They ain't your grandma's outlaws, that's for sure. But they seem to target icy strains and icy strains alone. The kind of foolhardy thievery that gets people to talking. Now there's a death wish if I ever heard one. They've got their reasons, sure as smoke is thick. Maybe they know some of the new lawmen don't. Not sure you could get a couple of varmints to open up, though. Yeah, I'd rather kiss a bull, I reckon. You know why folks grew to love him so much? Oh, that's easy. Anybody who's willing to fry Icy's taters gets a free pass around here. Outlaw or not. Good grief. This city is done for, you know that? Anyway, that's about all I know. Probably won't find out too much more from anybody else around here. All right, well, thanks for the help anyhow. Sure enough. Now, gulp this down and get back out there. Thanks. Maybe I should wet my whistle. Work in this town makes a man thirsty after all. <sighs> 
turns out I didn't get that much information from the barkeep. And it sounds like I won't get that much more sticking around here. Put your detective boots on, Miser. Where do you find clues? Where should you look next? Afternoon, Miser. Out for a stroll? No, ma'am. I'm hard at work. Oh, in that case, could I trouble you for a little bit of time? I suppose so. But if this is some kind of backwater way to get me into a date... You idiot! I've got a thousand handsome suitors waiting to make me their bride. Now stop your fooling and listen, deputy. Over yonder, down the alley, I saw some hoodlums and some of Icy's hands acting all shifty-like. That strike you as odd as it does me? I would have checked things out myself, but I'm too pretty to die. Hmm, it does sound awful peculiar. Tony? I wish I could say it was just my imagination. Better safe than sorry. I'll check it out. Oh, bless your heart. Keep your wits about you now. I always do. This the place? Huh? And there you have it. Not sure if it's Bunny and Bear. But I heard a dirty thieving duo set up shop in that there shack. That's good enough for me. Pleasure doing business with you. Here's your payment. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, it looks like we're all accounted for. I better scram before Her Majesty decides to coffin me. <sighs> this proves our Schillendrig is after Bunny and Baron. For sure. I'm not sure what they have to do with him strong-arming his debtors, but info's info and, well, beggars can't be choosers. Nevertheless, this whole situation keeps getting dirtier and dirtier. Hmm. Can't afford to dwell, not when there's more clues that need a finding. Howdy there, friends. What are upstanding citizens like yourselves doing in a place like this? One of Vincent's runs. Ouch! We prefer deputies. Miser's the name. Oh, a bona fide lawman. Well, what can we do you for, Miser? Oh, nothing in particular. Just hoping you might repeat what you said before, but a little louder, so the law could hear. Law ain't got nothing to do with this, boy. Really now? Now that strikes me as funny. Seems like something a pair of outlaws might suggest. We serve Lord I Schillendrick. You looking to make an enemy out of the Titan of Prosperity? I meant no disrespect, friend. After all, you're not the only one standing in the shadow of a Titan. <sighs> Unless you're looking to make an enemy out of the Titan of Order. <sighs> Oh, shucks. We've gotten off on the wrong foot. Let's just forget all this nonsense and start our chat over again. Why are you here, lawman? Funny enough, that's exactly what I wanted to ask y'all. But I know when I've lost a chase. Besides, flapping our gums don't seem like it's gonna amount to much. <sighs> desperate times, desperate measures. Only one way out of this conundrum. Take me to meet our Schillendrick. Rather talk to the lion than a bunch of cubs anyhow. Oh. Uh, something wrong, Sheriff? Nah. Hairs on the back of my neck stood up as all. Oh, you're worried about Miser, ain't you? Well, you can rest easy. He's got a way of wriggling out of the toughest situations. Oh. Uh. Not all endings are happy, Deputy. Especially when the main character insists on twisting the story himself, in every which way. Uh, no offense, Sheriff, but you always make mountains out of molehills. I suppose I do. Suppose I have to.
sir. Problem? Yes, uh, of the pest variety. Salutations, I'm Miser, deputy of the law. Few of your hands was out in the streets acting real shifty, so I thought I'd come ask you about their actions directly. <laughs> if you don't mind this intrusion, sir. Mm -hmm. My apologies, sir. We couldn't keep him contained. What do I pay you all for? Here, taste your own insolence. You, you fiend! Fiend? You couldn't possibly be referring to me. Listen carefully now, deputy. I am a distinctive creature, altogether superior to you lowly miscreants. It is only by my grace do y'all subsist in this city. You understand the concept of property, don't you? Well, Reveal belongs to me, and I've got every right to play with my toys however I see fit. You're wrong about that. People've got a right to live. Uneducated rodent. I should viscerate you where you stand. Uh... Hmm. Well, aren't you a unique piggy? Not even gonna squeal? Too busy shaking in my boots. Then you know where we stand. You are livestock, and I am your shepherd. Yet you bound into my humble abode like a sounder, intent on executing that swine herd. I would never! I may be a lot of things, sir, but suicidal ain't one of them. It's just what you're doing to reveal. It don't sit right with me. And I apologize for calling you a fiend. I lost my sense of decorum. Please don't tell Sheriff Vincent about this. <laughs> Vincent must find it heartening to have you under his finger. My own help is, well, let's just say, less than helpful. <laughs> All right, out with it. What are you here for? I've heard you know the whereabouts of Bunny and Baron. I'm here to buy that information from you. That's a lie. Say what you mean. I'm not as forgiving as that lamb, Vincent. <sighs> what are you gathering so much money for? What business is that of yours? I don't recall ever loaning any money to the sheriff's office. And as far as I know, you haven't. But your men have been roughing up more than their fair share of innocent folk. And? I've heard that you're funneling all the money into some kind of hobby. Now, it don't take a genius to know a titan's hobby can't be normal, so... If you're doing something dangerous, you'll have to stop it. Tell me, boy. Did Vincent put you up to this? No, sir. Not in his nature, I suppose. Do you understand the situation you've put yourself in? You stand before our shilling trick. I could lop the head off your neck before you knew it was gone. And as for this hobby you speak of, if I were amusing myself in an unsavory sort of way, it would be a simple matter of inconvenience to rid myself of you. In fact, I wouldn't even have to lift a finger myself. My hired guns could do it, make it look like an accident. Leaving Vincent to question where his favorite dog had run off to. You see now, deputy? It's like you've chosen to dance with the devil while having two left feet. Yeah, I get it. Do you now? I get that you really don't want folks finding out what you're doing. I mean, you're desperate enough to kill me. But it'd be a shame if I ended up dead when all I came for was a tiny smidgen of information. 
Don't think Vincent would take too kindly to hearing that news. In fact, he might welcome the chance for vengeance. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you also don't seem to have the man power for the perfect man's slaughter right now. You've got everybody and their mama out searching for our favorite bandit pair. Are you really suggesting that killing one of you law whelps would affect me in any way, shape, or form? You tell me, sir. I assume you've already thought about the particulars. Why else would you have left me here alive? I could order my people to stop their search for Bunny and Baron. Turn the sights on you. You would be a mouse in a city of lies. Crosshairs for those that cross you, is it? Can't say I find that odd for a titan. Only one of y'all who has justice to spare for the rest of us is Vincent. Between the bandit pair and myself, I know where your concern lies, which leaves you with two options. You go after me, and they get away. Or you go after them, and I get my way. Besides, I doubt your pride of goons could beat this town's finest deputy. Capiche? What was your name again, boy? Friends call me Miser. Miser. That's a powerful name. I appreciate that, friend. Fine. I'll answer your questions. If for no other reason than to get you out of my hair. It's true. My people are relieving disagreeable folks of their money and searching for Bunny and Baron. That's all you need to know. I see, I see. And the money? I don't have to tell you anything. The loans I grant are my business, and business is good. You're right, you're right. Sorry to imply anything untoward. <laughs> Your continued presence is wearing on my health, Deputy Miser. We're through talking here. Back to your hovel, or where have you? All right, sir. Thank you for your time. One minute, son. Tell me, do you have a price? Hmm? Seems your personality won't split so easily to money. That intrigues me. Splitting personalities? <laughs> your hobbies are weirder than I thought. <laughs> Think what you wish. Well then, till next we meet. Hmm. <clears throat> Sir, get somebody, anybody really, to trail that man. If he gets up to anything that would present an inconvenience, ensure that he is stopped. Of course, sir. <coughs> All of these vexatious pests. At least I won't have to entertain this idiocy for very much longer. First not not now I shillindrig. People tell you the Titans are messed up, but I didn't know they were downright hellish. Oh, my stomach feels like it's turning inside out. <sighs> Spit on my boot and call me Sally. I could use a vacation. Maybe I'll head over to Selena's, try to get some R&R &R before I make any more dumb decisions. Ah, well, if it ain't Miser. Hey, Deputy. On patrol? That's right. Yourself? Nah, I'm taking the rest of the evening off. Just had a run-in with our Schillendrick. You had a what? Please don't yell. I'm already on edge. Of all the reckless bull you could pull, having tea with a Titan has got to be near the top of the list. <laughs> Not number one. 
but it weren't a total wash. Our Schillendrig is getting his hands dirty with something, and he don't want anybody to find out about it. Huh. Sounds like all you've got is conjecture. I'll work on finding evidence next. You'll see. Good grief. At least tell the sheriff first. He'll be beside himself after he hears this. Yeah, imagine he'll have my hide. Well, of course he will. This Titan versus Titan business. God's above, miser. <coughs> Please, we need to get on the train. There's good doctors on the other side of town. I'm afraid I can't allow that. So long as you don't have a ticket, I can't let you board. Have a heart, sir. Nobody can help us over here. What's going on over there? Oh, you hate to see it. No matter how hard we law folk work, the veil just won't change, will it? The wicked stay wicked and the poor stay poor. But I guess better wicked than wretched. You heard of them monsters, what crawled out of the woodwork recently? I've got to do something. Uh, cool it, Miser. You think you can take on our Schillendrig's establishment alone? Well, somebody's gotta stand up. I, I understand how you feel, but there's a difference between bravery and stupidity. <sighs> Look, go report to Vincent for you. Get yourself caught in another barrel full of trouble. Yeah, I will. Keep your spurs sharp. <sighs> Shine your buckles and milk your cows. Deputy Miser is back in. Huh? Selena's not here? Afraid not, hon. Ah, pardon my manners, Abbas. Didn't mean to ignore you. How are you holding up these days? <laughs> well enough. You seem as cheerful as ever. <laughs> what can I say? Man or child's still kicking. You've always been a rambunctious little cowpoke, down to that smile. But something seems off about your grin today. What's got you down? Well, work's been tough. My fellow deputy and I were just moaning about this. Sometimes the ways of the world are too much, you know? Reveal was made by the gods. And it's the gods who will protect us. I know, I know. Accepteth ye the divine will, or ye payeth the devil's bill. Real cute, Miser. It's not about accepting their will. It's about using yours to accept your place within their garden. I pray you never lose sight of that. I thank you. Sincerely. Guess I'll go try to find Selena now. Catch you later, Abbas. Miser, about Selena, maybe you should... Yeah? <sighs> Never you mind. Don't worry your heart over it. If you say so. Bye now. My place in their garden, huh? Guess that means I better start digging to see where I can lay my roots. Fat luck at the plot I've been tilling will grow into anything substantial. <clears throat> what in blue tarnation? one of them wretches? <laughs> How does it know my name? Ah, don't let yourself get distracted, miser. It's got me pinned, and it don't look like it would let me just gallivant off anyhow. 
If anybody's up there, I could sure use your help. My fist don't talk near as well as my mouth. Kevin, have mercy on your faithful servant and save me from this freaky critter! Zombie monster! <laughs> I could smell its breath on that one! At least I've got room to hightail it now. Ah, what if it just goes after somebody else? You'll find control over yourself. So promise me, when the time comes, you'll also find the strength to pull that trigger. Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Do me proud. Damn it, Sheriff. I can't do it. So is it curtains for me, then? This is not how I wanted to go. <sighs> Miser. Not like you to accept a dance partner. Selena! Thank my lucky britches for you! Maybe you should thank me instead of your pants, you dumb gun. You could have died! <laughs> Sorry, I am grateful. These damn wretches are popping up like daisies all of a sudden. Best avoid back alleys and dark places, if you know it's good for you. And how do you know so much about them? It's called common sense, doof. Well, that's the first time I ever saw one. What in Ravel's name do you think they are? Hmm. Well, there's a question for the ages. No kidding. I was wondering if they had something to do with Ice Schillendrig or whatnot. All I've heard is he's been pouring his fundage into some kind of ritual. A ritual, you say? Mm-hmm. Probably trying to develop some newfangled magic right. Slap my bottom. Where did you hear that? One of his goons confessed it at church. Whoa! Ain't a man's confession supposed to be between him and his parish? I was joking, you Dorcas. How I got the information is a trade secret. Which means if you want to hear the secret, you gotta make a trade. Dang! No friends and family discount? I guess it'll have to wait till payday. You look weak. You want to skedaddle back to the church? Actually, I was just there. Had a chat with the abbess. I'm glad to see she's still perky. Is everything okay? Hunky-dory, especially now that I've talked with you. You saved my bacon so many times over the years. I might as well be more hog than deputy by now. Uh-huh. Anyway, catch you later, oinky. Hey, watch the name call it! She sure has a mouth on her. Ah, whipsickles. I gotta report back to Vincent, don't I? I hope he don't get too awful pissed when I tell him I went directly into Icy's lair. It'll have steam blowing out his ears. Oh, but what if he commends me for my bravery? That's the spirit, miser. Hope for the best and ye shall receive. Gotta pick up the pace. Miser, thank goodness I finally found you. Huh? What's the matter? Icy's goons. They started some kind of trouble again. In broad daylight? Yes, sir. I got away because there was this real quick, uh, blurry fella protecting the people. But if you don't do something fast, he could get killed. <clears throat> Uh, cool it, Miser. You think you can take on our Schillendrig's establishment alone? Well, somebody's gotta stand up. 
I understand how you feel, but there's a difference between bravery and stupidity. Ah, to hell with reports. Vincent can wait an extra hour. Just point me in the right direction, ma'am. I'll save the day. Go down that street there. Thank you, deputy. Just doing my job. You get home safe now. Get the others home as well. Found him. Chase him down, but watch yourself. He should be out of steam soon enough. We'll get him now. The dance don't ever end, does it? That's fine. I'm accustomed to performing under pressure. Uh. Whoa, Flurry was right. It's like looking through smoke. Is he covering himself with magic? Boy, I miss the simple days when robbers would rob and coppers would cop. Now it's nothing but super secret plot this, magical shadow man that. I am definitely in over my head. Maybe over my hat. Damn it, I'm a deputy, ain't I? I won't stand by while a citizen is killed right in front of my eyes. Pull your belt up, miser. It's go time. I'm tired of his stupid mouth. Shoot him dead! A lawman? Get! Leave him to me! What are you aiming at? This is... No aim here, mister. I won't stand by and watch a fallen man get kicked around. Everybody around here's lost their marbles. No kidding. If Vincent hears about me letting a potential criminal get away and beat Nicey's man to do it, he'll rip me a new one. Hey, you bunch of ice lickers! After all this is finished, all y'all are gonna help me write up your crime reports. Hear me? Actually, maybe criminals shouldn't be involved with no official reporting. What kind of a lawman would I be if I allowed that? What a whack job! Shoot him already! Shoot! Accelerate! Huh? Why can't I hit him? Is he using the same magic as that other fella? Y'all have got the wrong idea now. It ain't that you're missing. I'm just shooting your bullets out of the air. Ever see anybody like him? A lawman who has a devil's trigger finger. No, ma'am. Now that's double the wrong ideas y'all have got. I'm just an honest-to-goodness deputy. I may not know my left from my right, and I may get the shakes whenever I go to draw my gun, but I'm a deputy all the same. And that means all y'all are about to get a big justice bill whooping. Accelerate! Accelerate! Trigger! Rapid fire! <sighs> Look alive! The devil's packing heat! Where are the reinforcements? What in blazes is going on at the garrison? There's no response. We've been done in! One, two, three. Eight of them. That's less than a second. There. Calmed them down without hitting their vitals. Whew, and there weren't no witnesses neither, thanks to that lady from before. But have mercy. My stomach feels like it's gonna flip inside out. Stupid people making me use my gun. <sighs> Relax, boy. I haven't come here to kill you. We've merely found ourselves at a critical juncture. And I wouldn't deign to commemorate such an occasion with your death. Nice to see you too, I Schillendrick. That was some peculiar spell work, wasn't it? Never seen anyone combine acceleration and ignition. 
your acceleration was particularly charming. Under any normal circumstances, accelerating your own body would spell doom. But you seem to control it just fine. <sighs> well, don't leave me standing here like a lump on a log. Go ahead. Prove me right. I won't pick a fight with no titan. My, you are consistent if nothing else. But the time for niceties has passed, deputy. You see, a couple of strays have escaped their kennel of poverty, and they've come to piss on my carpet. Perhaps I have been too focused on my own amusements. But I won't tolerate this insolence. Not from no bandits who call themselves Bunny and Baron, even if they are not nots pets. Even if they can't be balked. Yeah. You understand what this means, don't you, deputy? War is brewing betwixt the Titans, and Reveal will pay the price. Now, as much as I hate to cut the purse that feeds me, mercenaries don't come cheap. You will therefore allow me to reclaim what's mine. Let's see. Ah! Sixty-two bullets. Shots my hands wasted on you. That comes to 4,340 gold. Tack on the medical fees for the ten or so of my precious cowards you took out. And we'll add on 50,000 more gold. And finally, for the time and irritation you've cost me, we'll say fair's fair and charge you an additional 100,000. Your outstanding balance is 154,340 gold. And I'll make sure you feel every coin. Over my dead body! That is the idea, yes. Huh? My gun's jammed! Who do you think made that gun? Who do you think cast those bullets? Those are products of prosperity, Deputy Miser. Now that was just about a hundred grand worth. And since you've been a sport, I'll give you a steep discount. Your balance is now 54,020. Won't be enough to kill you. Not with your mana levels, but... That's enough, I see. Well now, the big sheriff decides to show his face after all this time. You're getting real close to crossing a line. If you put even a single toenail over it, we'll have to settle things the old-fashioned way. Now, nah, now. Nah. There's no sense in getting fussy over a mortal. I swear, with that look on your face, you could make a black cat cross the street backwards. Contain thy mana. <clears throat> Well, you're certainly taking this seriously. Fine, I'll throw in the towel. Your boy here makes an easy target. I couldn't resist turning the knife a little bit. No sense getting angry over mere banter. However, I must know, Vincent. Do you plan on opposing me too? If I must. Predictable as ever. Miser. Sheriff, I didn't mean to... I was just trying to... Hush up, deputy. He put a curse on you. Talking will make it work faster. I just... I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm the sorry one, Miser. I forced your hand. Put you into a position above your capability. And look where that's got us. 
But I guess we should be more concerned about where we're heading. To a full-out clash between Titans. Stop with this lawman business. It's causing you nothing but grief. Just quit. If this is about money, I've got plenty of savings. Come live back at the church. You can have some peace and quiet. I can't quit now. Not after I killed her. Not with this blood on my hands. I have to make up for that somehow. I have to believe penance is out there. And the way I figure, it makes more sense to stick near justice, don't it? Where else would redemption lie? That was an accident, you doof. The kids miss you. And they'd love you no matter how many times you mess up. I keep telling you this. Well, if opinions mattered when it came to sin, then this burden would be a lot lighter on my soul. So you're gonna mope around till you feel like you've been served your fair punishment? Um... I'll at least continue working under the sheriff, but I'll make sure to use my power properly this time. Then this whole March of the Damned Act doesn't make you feel... I don't know... sad? Sadder than I've ever been. Then shed some tears at least. Afraid I can't. They're all dried up. Then... I'll just have to cry enough for the both of us. Oh, Selena, you've always been good to me. If it's penance you need, then I'll be the one to give it to you. We've always been together, right? Just stop making that face. Sorry, what kind of face was I making? Your dumbest one. Your dumbest one, Miser. You awake, Miser? Uh, Vincent? Ah! Ah, uh, don't make any sudden movements. You don't want to exacerbate Icy's curse. Oh, right. The curse. His power, his very being, is working its way through your veins now. Terrible stuff. Reclamation, magic that identifies and transfers ownership. And of course, since Icy owns all material things, it's he who decides what was taken from him. Looks like he gave himself claim to your life. I know he said he wouldn't kill me, but I really feel like I'd breathed my last breath. Truth be told, I wouldn't have been surprised if you'd passed on. I got to you in the nick of time with a recovery charm, best I could at least. <laughs> Boy, howdy, am I glad I got a Titan to watch my back. I could say the same for you. I don't know too many folk who would draw their gun against Icy and come out on the other end smiling. <laughs> so, tell me, Miser, were you pretending this entire time that you couldn't draw your gun? Sorry, Sheriff. This mean I'm fired? Yep, sure does. Wait, what? You've been half-assing it out in the field, letting these outlaws flee longer than they would have otherwise. With the occasional escape, mind you. But, but... Had you used all your facilities from the start, you might have saved even more lives. But your sense of guilt misaligned itself with your sense of duty, putting all of the citizens in danger. Hmm. You have a point. I truly wish I didn't, but I'll have to take your gun and badge, Miser. Yes, sir. Is what I would say if I actually intended on kicking you off my force. Huh? How could you joke around about this? Hmm. More a lie than a joke. No, -uh. no. I may be an ignorant son of a gun, but I don't like being played for a fool. <laughs> well, would you listen to that? You finally admitted your ignorance. Ouch! Look, I always knew how you felt. 
You simply wanted to prevent others from getting hurt. So much as you could, for as long as you could. But you knew you always had your six-shooter should you get cornered. And according to my recollection, you've never had a casualty since the incident, correct? Hmm. But my criticism still stands. You better hold that. Yes, sir. Miser, not a soul on this earth would judge you for what you had to do in the line of duty. Nobody's got that right. Not unless they've got an address up in heaven. Sure enough. Thank you. And sorry to keep you worried, Sheriff. Wouldn't have it any other way, Miser. Now, on to more pressing matters. While you were drifting off to Dreamland, Reveal has undergone a few massive changes. Bunny and Baron are heading for Icy, blowing up everything between here and the Golden Hills. They've announced they plan on taking his place as Titan after they take him out. Can they even do that? Reckless is as Reckless does, but with the full backing of another Titan, who's to say what could shake down? They're working with Not Not? Yep, and the cursed queen don't take too kindly to Icy, as we are all well aware. She's a demented lunatic who loves fear more than her own life. She'll turn Reveal into smoke and gunpowder as soon as she can. What are we gonna do? We won't do a thing. Huh? Listen, you can have a society without prosperity, and you can have one without force. But there ain't no community without order. Now, I don't crumble easily, but just suppose that I died in this stupid conflict. What do you think would happen to this city? Someone will come out on top of this tragedy, and when they do, we'll hitch their horse to our wagon. But first, we sit back and watch the race. Not prudent to break a stallion before you got them in your stable. They'll just as soon bite your fingers as the carrot. And frankly, deputy, I don't give a damn which of them wins. So long as I'm sheriff, I'll maintain the natural order of reveal. You got my word that nothing too tragic will befall her. Yeah. That's just speaking for myself, though. You aren't bound to the same rules I am, Miser. I hear you. I'll put a stop to this. You don't have that kind of capability, son. I've still got to try, don't I? But if worse comes to worst, I might be putting a target on the department's back. You included, Sheriff. Which means... Uh, guess I'll need to give up my badge and gun anyhow. Ah, <sighs> oh, kid. When I took you on, I knew you could climb mountains like a goat. But I didn't think you'd be as stubborn as one. I reckon we ought to make use of that tenacity. Deputy Miser, you are hereby subject to probation. And as such, your rights and responsibilities as an officer of the law are revoked until further notice. Please set your gun and badge on my desk. Yes, sir. And get some new equipment before you head out. Yes, sir. Whatever you do from here on out is your own business. This city requires my full attention, which means I won't have time to peer over the shoulder of one of my disgraced officers. Sheriff, I promise to... Careful, miser. I'm a titan. We can't be moved to act on emotion. It just so happens our lines of thinking have converged. Now giddy up and get. Go wipe the slate clean. You bet I will. Catch you later, Sheriff. Take care, Deputy. Between that Schillendrig and not not, you got some strong enemies, son. But knowing you, you'll find a way. Maybe I do favor that boy too much. Well, I should start getting a move on myself. <laughs> War ain't gonna wait for little old me, after all. <laughs>